Aspiration for power has betrayed you once again. There's a crack incoming, Loki Lin. And it's going to kill me. So well done. Not only is your plan to possess me going to fail, all your plans will when the sea of dreams is taken away again. Maybe you don't care about all the starfish, but I know you care about yourself. And you are just as doomed as us all. I know who I am. So a crack then. That's gonna be tough. Think, brother. We need to find a weapon capable of killing a kraken. Um, excuse me. Maybe you gods are thinking too much into this. You're so powerful that you never have to get your hands dirty. If you only have one tool, you don't want it to be just for one job. You want a multi-purpose one. So what are you saying? Instead of pondering about a weapon that can kill a kraken, we should think of a weapon that can kill anything. Yes, all the knowledge we have. There must be something. Anything. Anything. Yes, I've got it. But it's to the organ. Absolutely any living thing that stares into her eyes is turned to stone. That counts as death, surely. Medusa. Yes. I'm afraid her head is really the only thing we have access to that can get the job done. But even then, we don't really have access. Why? Where is this Medusa? She lives on an island in the River Styx, at the very edge between Earth and the Underworld. The Land of Dreams is connected to the Underworld by my river of forgetfulness and oblivion, the River Lethe. However, we are on an opposite edge. The Styx circles the entire area, so you could theoretically walk across to it. Then sail to Medusa. But the underworld is a very dangerous place. We don't have the choice. Show us where your river is and Morpheus. I know you're too weak to come with us, so the bogeyman can instead. Engelbert, Sussmacher, this is your last chance to turn back. You're going against monsters of the underworld, Daniel. You'll need all the help you can get. Daniel, let's not walk into this without a plan. The stone body won't be of use to me. We need to think carefully about avoiding Lisa. I have thought about it. You say she turns any living thing to stone. Well, Jack, the Littlest isn't living. He's just a fluffy rabbit. Bud and eyes. Littlest will be immune, and he can deal with her. I'm afraid that very fact is the flaw in your plan. He isn't real. 
If you leave the land of dreams, and venture to the edge of Earth, he won't exist. Can't you use your powers, Morpheus? Make little simultaneously exist and not be alive. Like an automaton. I can't do that with my powers, but maybe with a favor. Give me a second. Hello, Herr Festus. I require a mechanical vessel that can contain the soul of this stuffed rabbit. Let me guess. Is this to go against my father? Fine. Just don't let him find out. Okay, little list. Are you ready? A clockwork little list. This day just keeps getting stranger. It shall be even more strange in the underworld. You now have everything you need to defeat Medusa. Littlest cannot be turned into stone. And he can go in for the kill. I will open up the pathway to the river Lethe. My brother shall guide you to the sticks. Don't get any ideas about trying to abandon us, Phobta. Going to Earth. Don't worry. Why would I find impossible? Any fog. But if it's only meant to be one way, if the underworld is a place that likes to keep you there, how will we get back to the sea? Worry about that once you've got Medusa's head. Okay, Saru, one. Don't touch the river lady. The men drink from it to forget their life on Earth. If you go for a swim, you won't know if you're a Daniel for me. Let's just walk alongside it. Don't get any ideas about us being on the same side, Bogey. You're just a means to an end. Wow, well, Earl. We're actually in the underworld. Where no starfish has gone before. Arg. Whoa, that was a close one. Don't go forgetting me, Earl. What is that, dog? Cerberus. This shouldn't be a problem right now. Long story. I don't think Karen cares. Because 
Let's go put it into use. 